Hey guys, Multigame Master one reporting in and welcome to my 100% Let's Plays. This time I will be playing Sonic CD. This game was originally developed for the PC on a CD-ROM, but soon after was expanded so that it would be made available on the Nintendo GameCube, the Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 3. And this game is available in two different versions, the North American and Japanese versions. I will be playing the Japanese version of this game on the Xbox 360, so let's go ahead and start our game, select one of our empty files, because I've already played through this before, and play as Sonic. Tails you can unlock after you complete the game as Sonic only once, and it doesn't even matter if you complete the game 100%, which I will explain in more detail as it becomes relevant. Also the reason why I'm playing this Japanese version of the game is because quite frankly the music is a lot more epic than that of the US version. So here we have a cutscene in which Sonic is running around the whole entire area. You have to greatly admire his speed and his athleticism. That's the main reason as to why he's considered the world's fastest hedgehog. You gotta love Sonic. Who doesn't love Sonic? It's like every single time, Sonic keeps getting better and better. But that does come with due time. Looks like we're running into the main plot of the story. Go Sonic, go! Well, that looks like our plot. There's a metallic planet in the air. The question is, why is that there in the first place? Well, it's our mission to find out what's going on. And here we go! Level 1, Palm Tree Panic. Okay, so to complete this game 100%, I will explain more detail later. Right now, we just want to focus on grabbing as many rings as possible. At least a total of 50. We have fast shoes here. That, as usual, gives us additional speed. We want to keep an eye out for posts such as these that read future and past. And more specifically, we just want to travel into the past for something very important and crucial for you to complete the game 100%. So let's see if I can travel back to the past. There we go. This game is all about time travel, by the way. We are now finally in the past, and boy do things look different. But we're here for a purpose. Well, actually a couple of reasons. So to complete this game 100%, this is one of the things that you have to do. You need to find and destroy all of these Metal Sonic holograms. But before I do that, just Look at what Metal Sonic is doing. That's like a form of animal abuse. I will not tolerate that any longer. So that's the first hologram destroy and many more to go. There's also another thing that you have to destroy. And I will show you guys what that is when I find it. Also, I'm taking this nice and slow because I don't accidentally want to have to run into the future and or lose my rings. Okay, we need to get to the top area, but unfortunately I fell off. No, no future, no future. Thank you. Okay, making our way up top because I believe that there's something up here. There are also these robot generators that you have to destroy. Destroy them and all of the badniks will stop spawning in the area. These are both of the things that you need to do in order to complete the game 100%. But there is a handy shortcut, and that's the reason why I headed into the special ring after grabbing 50 rings and passing the go. And we made a good future in Zone 1. Excellent. Now to introduce you guys, the special stage. So to complete this game 100%, this is another thing that you can do. You need to find and collect 7 time stones. Time stones can be used to convert the time on the planet from a bad future into a good future. 
and whoever's taking control of the future, well, it can't really be good. But what we have to do to get these time stones is to destroy these UFOs. We have a time limit in which we can do so, and you'll want to stay out of the water, so that way you can have plenty of time to destroy the UFOs. A certain UFO will spawn at maybe the 20 second limit, so if you destroy that, you'll get extra time. The yellow ones give you more rings, and the blue ones give you more speed. But after destroying all the UFOs, we get our first time stone, so that's one down and six left. I like the music in this game, by the way, it's fantastic. Extra life, cool. Okay, moving on to... Act 2. Also, bear in mind, guys, it's been a while since I've played this game, so... If I mess up on certain parts, just bear with me. Okay, um... We need to get back into the past. Let's see if we can pull this off here. Wow, I totally messed that one up. But luckily, there are plenty more of those past posts dead ahead. So let's see if I can go ahead and find one. I also want to take very good care around the enemies because I really don't want to have to lose my rings. These rings will be crucial to have us go into the special stages. So it's easy does it from here on out. Here's a past pulse. Let me see if I can travel into the past. Okay, hopefully I can pull this off. There we go. Nice save by the spring. And now that we're back in the past... Ooh, an extra life. Didn't really see that coming. Whoa, that threw me back. Okay. Now that we're back in the past, let's find another one of those robot generators and the hologram. And I really don't want to have to travel into the future. If you run at a certain speed long enough, you can travel in time. Here's invincibility. Very helpful. That's one of the holograms destroyed. Now to find the robot generator. And I think I may have passed it already. Like I said before, it's been a while since I've played this. Okay, there it is, right there. So that takes care of things in this area, so now we can make our way for the end. With the shield in hand. I'm gonna get rid of this future opportunity. So from here we should be close to the goal. There's the goal. Why is the boulder in the way? Good future in zone 2. So far we're pulling off many good futures. That's key in order to complete the game 100%. Okay, here we go. Special stage number 2. I think I've already explained enough of detail about these special stages, so... I may stay quiet at certain points so that I can concentrate. And while I do complete this, or at least attempt to, Get a load of the amazing background. Okay, halfway there. These UFOs can sometimes be tricky to destroy. Okay, just the one left. Oh, come on, I should have reached that. There we go. Much better than the one in the first special stage. So that's two time stones down and five left. And you guys may think that they look like Chaos Emeralds. And indeed they do, but trust me, these are just time stones. Extra life, cool. And after completing all the stages with good futures, you get the good future in Zone 3. Okay, so now I think from here we could just make our way for the end. And I think I may have left an extra life back there, but I don't think it even matters at this point because usually I'm pretty good at the game, pretty skilled at it. Oh, and look at how easy this boss battle is, even with invincibility. 
I took down Eggman in three hits. Sorry about that, Eggman. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our first level, Palm Tree Panic. So this is Multigame Master 1, over and out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next level.